Oh, UNM students and athletes broke out their voices and their chalk to make a statement this afternoon, joining other universities across the country. Megan Amundis was there and joins us now. Megan. All of the UNM athletes are back on campus, so the UNM Athletics Department created a space and platform for them today to talk about racism and inequality. We are tired of not being heard respected or treated as equal. Those words brought together well over 100 UNM student athletes. They showed out to the pit with chalk in hand. And I wholeheartedly believe that we're actually gonna make a difference. Avadni is a redshirt senior on the soccer team. She says she's done chalking up the racism to a loss in her community. I'm here because I really want to show that like our school is united towards this movement and that we actually want to see physical change happen. And I think it's just really important to me being half black that I feel like at a certain point I wasn't fighting hard enough and I feel like it's time that I actually use my voice to actually make a difference. And now her voice is amplified by 100 other student athletes like Teton on the football team. We need to stop tolerating hatred and bigotry. You know, the, the time for that is over. Our university community says they won't be excluded in using their voices for a movement that's taken over the nation, a spotlight on police brutality and racial inequality. It was anger, it was frustration, it was pain. Because a lot of people, um, you know, that one was filmed. Well, there's so many instances out, out in this country where, you know, even on this team, people have dealt with things like that. Um, and, it, and it's sad. He said now is the time to fight for those who don't have a voice. And the student athletes will lead the way. That's why they wrote it down. End racism and inequality. Let's go. So they came together. This is a brotherhood. To write messages of hope, love, and accountability until their chunk whittled down. Everybody is, is here and everybody is represented. And it, and, it, and it feels like unity. It feels like power. It feels like what America is supposed to be. Some officers from APD and UNM were here to stand with the students as well. UNM faculty says they've created a student committee, had town halls to listen to students' concerns, and have efforted voting initiatives. And more is on the way. But this demonstration came minutes after the football players released a statement in response to Brian Erlocker's words criticizing professional athletes boycotting games over police brutality. UNM Athletic Director Eddie Nunez commented on the former Lobo's words. For us, that's not a representation of who we are as a department, of our student athletes, and we stand with our student athletes and, and trying to find a way to overcome the social injustices and, uh, and racism. Has your department felt the need to reach out to him? We've, uh, our football coach had an opportunity to have a conversation with him last night, and we look forward to having many more with him. Nunez said the conversation with Erlocker will continue. For those worried about social distancing, every student athlete was tested for COVID before the event. The department says out of 800 tests, less than a dozen were positive and they're quarantining. In the newsroom, I'm Megan Abundance, back to you.